Kim. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. Um, there was no video last week. I was really busy. I was out of town for a little bit and then got busy just doing yard work and cleaning up over spring break and also just kind of enjoying some time not doing anything. But today I'm gonna paint a swipe. I did it once before. Um, I will link to the video from the last time. And it's a technique by Veronique at Me Paintings, or Me Art. I'll also link to her page, um, her channel, so you can watch her video. Uh, it's a swipe with some pretty vibrant colors. And last time I did it, I liked it, but I wanted bigger cells. And then in doing some of the touch-ups, I got color on the parts that were supposed to be white. So that's why I want to redo it. So let's go give that a try. <laughs> Thank you, Daisy. You're a good girl. <laughs> All right, guys, this is actually the painting I did before. And you can see it's not quite what I, what I wanted. Um, you guys know if I'm painting in the evening, there's usually a glass of wine uh, right close by. So I'm going to use titanium white as the base, and this is really thin. It's one part paint, two parts Floetrol, one part distilled water. This is cadmium yellow. Um, then I have cadmium orange, as well as... Let's see, this is deep red. And then I have some deep green. And light magenta. And the last color will be dioxazine purple. And these are a little different than what I used last time. This is the medium is glue all. That's in all of the colors and it's as well as the hair serum. So the glue all is mixed 60% glue, 40% distilled water, and then it's mixed one to one with the paint. So last time I used azo yellow, azo orange, the light magenta, a rouge, deep red, and I think Think quinacridone blue violet. So I'm going to cover the canvas with the white and then I lay down the colors in puddles and then swipe. But uh, this is really thin. Last time I made it too thick, so I went a lot thinner this time, but I don't like what it's doing over the colors here. Um, oh, and I should add that the hair serum silicone that you put in, it's only like one drop because I didn't use a lot of the paint. It's, it's just a small amount. Um, I don't know why it's like not smooth right there in the center. But it, I mean, it should be okay because that's where I'm going to pour the colors and swipe anyways. But it's not, I don't know, it's not covering the way I want it to.
what speed to the city streets we begin to feel the fire we rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher the night's young and it's just begun as she puts her hand in mine Okay, I don't like what this is doing. I can see it pulling away from the canvas, so I think I'm going to scrape it, get a fresh canvas, and start over. So I'm going to put down little puddles of the paint. I'm starting with the yellow, then I'm going to do the orange, and I'm going to put the next color on top of the previous color. So I'll do like two puddles of the yellow, and then I'll put orange on top of the second puddle, and then a puddle of the orange by itself. And then I'm going to swipe from the yellow down to the green. And so it's going to go yellow, orange, red, or magenta, purple, and green. That's the plan anyways. speed to the city streets we begin to feel the fire we rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher the night's young and it's just begun as she puts her hand in mine
Okay, so I'm going to swipe this. You know, I probably should have put down a little more of the white underneath the colors, but I didn't. So I'm going to use a sheet protector to, to do my swipe. I've used a variety of things, um, but this is the only thing I have that's actually wide enough so I'm just going to swipe from one end to the other so let's let's do it sometimes it takes me a minute to get brave enough to, <laughs> to do the next step Oh wow, I love these colors, how they all blend together, that looks so cool. So I'm going to actually reverse swipe this, I'm going to go back from the green end to the yellow end so that the whole thing is covered. That's what I did last time too. And I, I and that is what um, the video that I followed, that is what she did. And it, it just looks so amazing. All right, here we go. And it's a clean side that I'm using. I don't want you guys to think I'm using the, the side that I used before. Ooh. That looks so cool. I love all these colors. I'm going to torch this and do some tilting um, to kind of spread out the cells a little bit and see if I can get some good lacing. So I really like this. I still wish I had um, some bigger lacing, but that may happen as this starts to dry. I'm gonna clean it up and bring you and show you what it looks like close up. That is so cool. The purple 
careful on not digging. It's doing something weird. Oh, I don't like that. But I love the yellow. All right, guys. So this painting is done. Um, there were some issues. <laughs> so I forgot to clean the first canvas. I was painting over the original painting and I forgot to clean the canvas and there was the um, hair serum in there, which has like a, you know, some silicone and that's why the white wasn't sticking. So when I, I realized that after I scraped it, I should have cleaned the canvas. Um, so that's why I just went and got a fresh canvas, started over. And I really liked this, but as it dried, uh, weird things happened. Daisy, can we show them what happened? Can we show them? Show them this? This is okay. And it has some beautiful Daisy hair on it. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's see. No, you gotta move. You gotta move over. No, move over. Thank you. Um, I, I don't quite know what happened. The purple, it, it did something. The best I can figure out is that um, the base coat was titanium white with Floetrol in water and no silicone at all in it. The colors all had the pouring medium of 60% glue all, 40% water, and then mixed one-to-one -one with um, the paint at a ratio of one-to-one. -one. Well, they were all the same consistency. I did my measuring, but I'm thinking glue wall pouring medium against the Floetrol is not a good mix. I think that's probably what has happened here. I love the lacing that I got with the, the yellow and the white, the orange, I mean, and the yellow. I love that. Um, the colors also did not blend like they should have. Uh, yeah, I don't, I'm not, I'm not a scientist. <laughs> I didn't do well in science class, so I don't really know the science behind this mess. I would have been okay with the little fingering, fingerlings in the yellow and the orange, but the purple really went kind of crazy. So, I don't know. I also think, um, next time I also need to mark the center a little better. I was just kind of winging it. I don't, I, I need to get it a little more even. Um, even though I think all of my my puddles of paint were, were fairly even, the same amount, but they were not even on the canvas. So I will try this again, um, maybe with the paints a little bit thicker and maybe not using the glue wall pouring medium. I may use just Floetrol and see what happens. See if that's a little better. I have not had good luck with glue wall. I don't know if it's, if, if what I bought has maybe started to go bad. I'm not really sure, but everything I've used it on has not turned out. And I think it's not for me. I think I need to stick with the Floetrol instead. So that being said, <laughs> Daisy's needing some love. This is, by the way, if you haven't followed along, uh, this is Daisy Lou. Daisy, look at the camera, look at the camera. Can you say hi? This is Daisy Lou. She's my uh, partner in crime and uh, very needy. So, <laughs> as you can see. Anyways, guys, if you like the video, um, click the like, the subscribe, leave me a comment, and 
keep coming back. Daisy Lou and I will be back next week, won't we? Yes. <laughs> Hi, guys. We get this in a video. Yeah. What? Oh, okay. What's going on? Are you going to help me? Can you say hi to the Can you turn around and look at the camera? Hmm? Can you look at the camera this way? No, you don't want to? Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Can you say hi to everyone? Can you wave? Can you give a big wave? Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> that is not a wave. It's not a wave. Look, wave with your paw. Where's your paw? Can you wave? Oh, where's your paw? I can't even find it. Can you wave? Hi. Okay. Good girl. Mwah.